Today we're reviewing the uh, Vermiculite Attic Vac system. This is the complete system with all options shown. Uh, we have our 240 volt high lift vacuum here. This produces 300 CFM, 150 inches of water column. This is a certified HEPA vacuum. It's complete with a 0.5 micron filter. The machine does come with three independent switches, 30 foot power cord that you're gonna hook up to your house power, mini helix gauge for your HEPA, manual shaker system for your primary filter, and a removable dust pan for any residual dust that may get to the vacuum. The primary separation for the vermiculite system is going to be done inside of our HEC high efficiency cyclone. And what we're showing here, we have a high efficiency cyclone. This is what's going to connect to the incoming hose. So it does come with a button lock connector. The button lock connector does fit right into here. It button locks in place, the hose slides on. The hose is comes with 150 feet of hose, so you'll see that the connectors do slide on, they're nice and tight and they don't fall off. Comes with a hose to hose connector so you can connect the 50 foot sections together to bring you to 150 feet. So your button lock connector goes to the inlet, your hose to hose connector connects the hoses together, and at the final end you're going to have a wand. The wand is going to have a handle like this. It's aluminum, so it's lightweight. It fits directly into the hose, and that allows you to do the vacuuming up in the attic. So the separator for vermiculite is the high efficiency cyclone. It comes on the tipping frame. This is the optional water fill. Uh, so for the water spray down system, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook that up to water. And before you open this up, you're gonna hold this for a period of time. That's gonna allow the drum to spray down so it wets the material before you expose it to the operator and it's spring loaded so it automatically shuts. You have a level detector on here as well. The way the level detector works, it is a manual level detector. So as you're filling, if it drops all the way down, you know the drum is not full. As you start filling it, you'll see that this is actually going to fill and it's gonna stop your resistance and it's not gonna let you drop down as much. You know the drum is full. That's when you're gonna shut it down. That's a manual system. You do not wanna leave that in the down position. It won't automatically raise up. You're gonna to wanna to keep it up and drop it down in to feel the resistance. When it's time to empty, simply remove the two latches, raise the lid, and remove the bag. Now right now we haven't set this up with a bag yet, so putting a bag in is extremely easy. You're going to want to use a, a 6 mil or at least a 4 mil poly bag. The thicker the better, so when you're handling it uh, you don't risk, run the risk of the bag breaking. This is a 4 mil poly liner. Putting the bag in is easy. Tip that back, put the drum down and clamp it. So that is the primary separator. Primary separator has a connection hose already on it. This is an equalization hose. This hose is so it holds the bag in place so it doesn't suck up. And you'll see that this hose is made to fit right in the front of the vacuum. So you can easily hook these two together. And now you have your vermiculite system, which would have your primary separation system with the connection hose into the vacuum. And that's a complete system. So if you have blown-in insulation, you're going to want to use a bulk collector for the blown-in insulation. This is a 55-gallon drum, has a removable lid, and it takes a porous bag. The porous bag is going to allow you to load the material from the top. You simply put the bag in place, roll it over the quarters, put the lid on, and clamp the lid down. So what's going to happen now is the material is actually going to flow in from the top. You have a connection hose sucking from the bottom of the drum over to the inlet of the vacuum. So you're going to want to put this in with the button lock connectors like that. Then you're going to take your primary separator, which is the vermiculite separator with the equalizer hose, and you're going to put that in the top of this drum. Button lock into there as well. Now you'll have your primary separator. This is where we would take our incoming hose, put it on here, plug the hose into here again with our button lock fitting so you have your primary hose. All the material is going to come into the cyclone, 
separate down into the drum, your vermiculite goes in there. Any carryover would then contain, come over into the drum here, load from the top. This is where the blown in insulation, the fibrous light material is gonna go. Loading from the top, compressing it as you go. Anything that bypasses that is gonna travel into the vacuum and then we're gonna filter it to 0.5 microns with our primary, 0.3 micron purifying it with our HEPA filter. So this would be a complete vermiculite system that also uses a blown-in separator as well if you do get into blown-in. So this has been a review of Ruvox Attic Vac. It's the vermiculite vacuum system. 240 volt single phase, 300 CFM, 150 inches of water column with a separator for vermiculite that bags it and a separator for the blown-in insulation.